A line of several dozen hikers climb a rocky, picturesque mountainside in the Swiss Alps. And in addition to climbing gear, many are dressed in costume formal black in the bright Sunday sunshine. Some of the men wear black hats, some of the women black lace veils in the thin alpine air. Because this is a funeral of sorts. These are climate activists, and they're mourning what they say is the death of a glacier due to global warming. The Pizol Glacier perches almost 8,500 feet above sea level, near the border with Austria, and all that's left are a few patches of white against the mountain. Matthias Hus is the head of the Swiss Glacier's monitoring network. So at present we still have a size, ice-covered size of about four football fields. So it's all already a very small glacier. But the retreat has strongly accelerated in the last two years. So in 2018, it has started to disintegrate, it has lost 40% of its area, and now this year again more. So we have really almost lost everything. We have some little ice patches left, but really not much. The activists hold a ceremony marking the loss of the alpine ice. We have uh, built up a relation to these glaciers over the time, and many of the, the people that are here have probably some kind of relation. And so it's a sad day um, where people say goodbye to this glacier um, as we do it to humans that we have loved. One man blows an alp horn. We can basically not save this glacier. This glacier is a symbol that glaciers are disappearing, that the ice is melting in the Alps. We cannot save this glacier, but there are many other glaciers that we can potentially save by protecting the climate. The bigger glaciers, they can still be saved, but also in a smaller size. Activists such as Hus see the loss as a call to action to prevent climate change from permanently altering the face of the planet.